what's going on, guys? That's my notes. I'm gonna need those. Uh, it's fly fishing with Adam and not Dan. Um, Dan's in the back eating lunch right now. He's on his lunch break. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna talk some fly fishing today. That's what I like to talk about. Um, we're gonna do the top six inshore flies. Six seems like a cool number. Most people do top five or three, so we're gonna be different and do six. Uh, or kick, depending on how you like to say it, I don't know. Um, yeah, um, we're, we're gonna start with six and go all the way to my top favorite. Uh, number six, the deceiver, lefty's deceiver. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's great. You can tie it in just about any color imaginable. It's got some nice action from the, the haggles on the back. I've seen a lot of people use ostrich hurl instead. Um, got a little bit more like squid-like action and just moves more. I don't think it's trying to look like a squid, but fantastic fly. I've caught tons of bass too on these. Um, snook, redfish, trout. Um, I mean, it's just kind of an all around. It's almost like a mirror dean. Um, kind of catches anything. Um, so yeah, number six. Um, number five is the gurgler. I know I got a disco shrimp. This That's actually a disco shrimp. Um, but same idea. Top water, foam on the top. Um, this one's got like a sequin here, uh, but same idea, you know. Sequin just helps it pop a little bit more water, make more of a, you know, a cupping sound. Um, like a, like a, I don't know, a pop or bass lure or something like that. It's got the cup. It's kind of cool. But this is a fantastic variation of that fly. Obviously very shrimpy. Um, I mean, you tie gurglers in all kinds of different colors, obviously different variations. Add shrimp legs like this one and antennas. Um, fantastic redfish and snook fly. I mean, trout like to come up a lot to a topwater too, but I like these a lot in mangroves. Or if you're seeing tarpon, like little baby tarpon come up and slurp air, you know? Um, doesn't sound like that, but fantastic for that. You're going to get a lot of short strikes on baby tarpon, but I just love baby tarpon. Five. Four is the bend back. This is kind of a deceiver variation to it. This is a very, I mean, I guess you could tie this in all kinds of different patterns. This is a kind of a deceiver variation, but it's tied on a worm hook or swim bait hook. Uh, unweighted, but you can, I've seen people do them weighted too, but they're probably not easy to throw. But um, almost totally weedless. I mean, there's no weed guard on it. It's just the way that it's tied makes it almost totally weedless. Pull it through grass, um, you know, pull it through mangroves. Um, it's, it's, it's not really going to hook very easily. Fantastic fly. I've seen shrimp patterns tied with this. Um, I mean, all kinds of different redfish variations, the dark colors. Um, make sure you got some in your box. Um, I threw that so far. Uh, three, spawning shrimp. And I like this fly. Some people might question whether or not this should be on there. If you want to question me, go for it. Type the comments. If you agree with me, comment. Say, Adam, your top six list is my top six list. Do that. Say it. Anyways, spawning shrimp. This is an EP spawning shrimp. Uh, the reason I put this in there is because it's so versatile. I mean, it could look, it's got crab pinchers. It could look like a crab. Um, you know, strip real slow along the bottom. You're going to lay blades of grass over. It's going to look like a crab walking around. Um, you could do short pops with it, make it look like a shrimp that's snapping away. Um, this is a little bit bigger. Um, more of a R style, you know, Tampa Bay fly that's our redfish are going to need. Our redfish don't want itty bitty bonefish flies most of the time. Uh, but I mean, this is probably what most well known as a bonefish fly, but fantastic for redfish as well and trout. Spawning shrimp. Almost look like Salt Bay. Um, Clouser's got to make the list. It's making, coming in at number two uh, is the Clouser minnow. I mean, this has to be on every top flies. I don't care if it's top three, it's gotta be on there. Um, it's in my top, it's my second one, so. This is another one you could tie in almost any color variation. You could add, I've seen some people add shrimp eyes to it, um, add other things. Uh, it's, it's a giant crazy Charlie, pretty much. Um, not even giant, I mean, I guess it's just the way it's tied, but anyways, um, this would be a fantastic redfish color. Uh, for around here, uh, any shape and size. It's got a lot of up and down movement from the lead eyes on it. Uh, you can tie it with bead chain too to make it a little lighter um, and make it whistle when you go through the air, which is always fun. Um, yeah, the Clouser Minnow, it's gotta make it. All right, number one. <laughs> 
the Everglades special. Behold, my top fly. It's amazing. Um, it's an EP minnow kind of profile. Look how much that looks like a mullet. I mean, a mullet, uh, creek chub. Um, I mean, it could even look like a white bait maybe if you want to get creative, you know. Um, if you're throwing any stained water, any mangroves, um, this needs to be on the end of your line probably. Um, it just, it looks so good. It's got a real wide profile. If you look down the, um, the head like that, pushes water like a mullet. Um, you know, it'll ride fairly high in the water. Um, this is kind of one of those two you don't see in that many different colors. I mean, this is kind of the classic color that, you know, olive with the white underneath and then a brown head. Um, it's a chub color. Um, fantastic fly. You definitely need some. So, you know what? You should come get all of these, put them in your box. Um, like I said earlier, argue with me. If you don't like my list, just comment, you know? Tell me what you think. Uh, should be in your top six flies. This should be in your box all the time. Uh, please like the video. That'd be great. Subscribe to the channel. Um, stop by and see us. Argue with me in person. Be a, be a real man and come in in person and argue with me. I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it. Everyone's special.